when God created us in the beginning he did not create us to be delivered he created us to have dominion and to have dominion requires you have to have an enemy God made you in his image and in his likeness that means he has you have the same thing that God is made of you're not God but you are made in his image and his likeness what rules what reigns what goes through God's if I could use the God's veins what's part of God is a ruler God is a dominator God is God reigns and when he made a little minions called you and I he made us in a small shape and form just like himself people who are equipped wired anointed to rule eagles give birth to eagles lions give birth to lions zebras give birth to zebras when God made us he didn't make us out of the ground our bodies yes but our spirits he made us out of himself and the first assignment he gave to man is he says be fruitful and multiply subdue the earth and he says have dominion over everything on the earth God gave us in the beginning a dominion and to give us dominion he had to put a devil somewhere within our reach to have dominion for we've been here only for a few weeks but God already trusted us with an old sorrow serpent knowing we are vulnerable knowing we don't know a lot we can fall prey to the devil's tactics but God trusted us with the devil we got deceived we lost the dominion and then we needed deliverance Jesus comes back gives us deliverance and you would think God would learn the lesson don't trust the humans give them freedom don't give them power they don't know how to use it but Jesus comes back and he tells them I've seen Satan fall I give you authority I give you dominion again I'm gonna trust you again why because you are made in my image and likeness I know you've fallen I know you lost it I know you're still fresh in these disciples you're gonna abandon me but listen you were wired not for deliverance you were wired for dominion but I need to give you deliverance to get you back in the position of victory, in the position of dominion. That's why Apostle Paul says, when we receive the gift of righteousness and abundance of grace, we will do what? We'll reign in life. Not suffer through, get through, get by. Not just, oh, I just want to get free. He says, dominate, reign in life. Your real calling is not to be free. Your real calling is to dominate but to dominate you do have to get free you do have to receive the revelation that you are free once you receive the deliverance and don't stay there trying to protect your freedom take another step into what you were originally created for not to just maintain freedom but to be a fighter to be a winner and to be a conqueror and when the devil comes your way don't be scared says I was created to crush you